What is a mole? A mole is a huge number. If you look at this container here, this container has a lot of beads, okay? A lot of beads. If we count them, we get 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. We call this number Avogadro's number. And we represent this container with one mole. So one mole equals Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23rd. As we said, one mole of anything is a huge number and it is represented by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So when we talked about this container, each one of these is an atom. An atom, an atom, an atom, all these are atoms, okay? So inside this container, we have what? We have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So first, a mole is a quantity, this quantity equals to Avogadro's number atoms. Also a mole has a mass. A mole has a mass. Also a mole occupies a volume. So again, a mole is an amount represented by Avogadro's number 6.022 times 10 to the power 23rd atoms. A mole has a mass. A mole occupies a volume. Now we're going to take example about a mole. For example, one mole of helium. One mole of helium. So one mole of helium equals Avogadro's number. All right. One mole of helium equals four grams. So it has a mass, four gram. And from where do we get this four grams? We got it from the periodic table. So this four gram is from the periodic table. So again, this one mole represent Avogadro's number. So one mole of helium equals 6.022 times 10 raised to 23rd. One mole of helium uh, has a mass, which is four grams. And we said a mole occupies a, what? A volume. And this volume, of course, at STP, standard temperature and pressure. And we mean by it at zero degrees Celsius and one atmosphere. So one mole, one mole of helium equals 22.4 liter or decimeter cubed. Now we have number of rules that we need to memorize about number of moles, number of molecules, and number of atoms. Number of moles equals mass over molar mass. For example, find number of moles of 4 grams of helium atom. Find number of moles of 4 grams of helium atom. So we need number of moles of helium. 
and they gave us the mass. Mass, they said it is four grams. What is the molar mass of helium? From where do we get it? We get it from the periodic table. The molar mass of helium from the periodic table is four gram per mole. So, number of moles equal to one. When we cancel out grams and grams, we get one mole. Okay, so this is an example of, or how to find number of moles. So our first rule is to find number of moles. We said number of moles equals mass over molar mass. Number two, so this is number one, two, number of molecules equals number of moles times Avogadro's number. Is a number of molecules equal number of moles times Avogadro's number. Our third rule is number of atoms equals number of molecules times atomicity and what do we mean by atomicity we're going to give you an example here if we have glucose the molecular formula of glucose is c6 h12 o6 okay what is the atomicity of glucose we add these numbers in order to get the atomicity. So the atomicity of glucose is 6 plus 12 plus 6 equals 24. So the atomicity of glucose is 24. So how can we define atomicity? Atomicity is number of atoms inside a molecule. So atomicity is number of atoms inside a molecule. I'm going to give you another example. What about oxygen gas? Oxygen gas, O2. What is the atomicity of oxygen gas? Is 2. All right, we have two atoms in this oxygen molecule. So, so far, we have three rules. Number of, mo number of moles equal mass over molar mass. Number of molecules equals number of moles times Avogadro's number. Number of atoms equal number of molecules times atomicity. And we said the definition of atoms, atomicity is number of atoms in a molecule. And we gave two examples. Last rule. Moles of atoms. How do we find moles of atoms? Mole of atoms equal number of moles times atomicity. So moles of atoms equal number of moles times atomicity. So these four rules are very important for solving exercises. If we take calcium as an example, so we have calcium Ca, one, according to our previous uh, explanation, one mole of calcium equals what? Equals Avogadro's number, 6.0. 2, 2 times 10 to the power 23rd atoms of calcium equals 40 grams of 
calcium, this 40, we got it from the periodic table. Now back to this container. Now our example is what calcium. Okay, back to this container. This represents one mole of calcium. And we said it equals to Avogadro's number. If we count them, we get 6.022 times 10 uh, to the third, uh, 23rd power. Okay, so this is one mole of calcium equals Avogadro's number and equal the mass of it is 40 what 40 grams of calcium. So what if we take one atom from this container, one, only one, this one? What is the mass of this? atom the mass of this atom is very tiny very small we use different unit to represent it since it is very tiny we have certain units for atoms because they are extremely small we call this unit atomic mass unit amu atomic mass unit one atom this atom of calcium the mass of it equals to 40 amu. Again, the whole thing of one mole of calcium, the mass of all this container is 40 grams, 40 grams. But one atom, one atom of calcium equals to 40 this is a very difficult concept by the way to understand so one atom of calcium equal 40 but look at the unit amu atomic mass unit because it is very tiny and we use different unit to represent the mass of an atom we call it atomic mass unit now i will show this example what is the mass of one mole of CO2 in grams? Okay, we know that number of moles equals mass over molar mass. From where do we get molar mass from the periodic table? Now, they gave us number of moles. They said, what mass of, what is the mass of one mole? So n equal one, and they need the mass. Mass, molar mass of CO2 from the periodic table with carbon equals to 12. Oxygen is 16, but we have two times two, and we add them together. So overall is 44. So the mass, of one mole of CO2 equals 44 grams.